Hey guys, so Bobby Z got a pretty good pulls, Narset, Foil, Sarkarn's Triumph, and then Foil, Seismic, Rupture. I feel like those were the highlights. But for Yossi, um, we're gonna open this fat pack of Fate Reforged. And yeah, uh, next time we're gonna do Magic Origins, I believe, and everyone just do Magic Origins. This time I wanted to do a little bit different fat packs for you guys. And yeah, and after this is done, I'll go ahead and sometime this week, once the videos are up, because it doesn't really make sense for me to do the raffle for the Dragon Maze video when it's not up yet. Like, that doesn't make sense to me, right? And I've got to clean my video shooting area after this. Yeah, so this fat pack is for Yoshi, and after this fat pack is over, Bobby, Yoshi, Jared, and Kevin will go ahead and I'll random the Dragon Maze stuff for you guys. And then obviously the tokens and all that fun stuff. So what we're hoping Fate Reforged, obviously you got a $30, $35 Mythic Planeswalker Dragon, which would be pretty nice. And you also have, also have like a lot of, uh, oh yeah, Rally, which is a little bit more money than it used to be. Is there any other cards I'm missing that are kind of valuable? I don't know, but I think it's mainly Ugin or Fetchland or Bust. Um, so high risk, but we did well in the last two. So we'll go ahead and see Angler. That's worth like a few dollars. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like this Angler might be the most valuable card in this pack. Uh, Bave and Dragonfire, Defiant Org, Cloudform is pretty cool. Champion, First Tree. Ooh, not the, oh crap, not the uh, Ojite we're looking for. And not the Festland we're looking for. Obviously, that would be a pretty epic fetch land. A <laughs> hundred dollar fetch land in this pack. And these Endicar fetch lands, crazy. So tie, Sandblast, um, Return to Earth, Rhino, Heel Cutters, Destructor Dragon, Pyrotechnics, Humble Defector used to be worth some money. It is, again, a gold colored card. Is it a Planeswalker? What Planeswalkers are we looking for? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there you go. I mean, do we need to open anymore? What do you think, Yoshi? Uh, sending this to Singapore, but like, wow. Wowzers, like, man, like the one card. Man, that's crazy. So um, the packs have been super good. Super good, guys. Um, I kind of wonder, so someone also ordered a fat pack, but they just never paid for it. And like, obviously, I'm not going to open that fat pack. Um if they didn't pay for it and then send it to them, that's not gonna happen. But hey, Yoshi, that's like, I'm very um glad that, oh, Flame Wake Dragon. Flame Wake Phoenix, it saw some play in GP. Is it worth a few more dollars than it used to be? I don't know. But I mean, you got the Spirit Dragon. What else do you need? I think the Spirit Dragon covers like the cost of buying the fat pack. But again, you can't buy fat pack every time and hope to pull a Spirit Dragon. But, I mean, if you if you grab the fetch land here, this becomes, like, a very good fat pack to becoming a very, very good fat pack. Well, we have a foil. I know that much. And the foil is... Okay, so we have this card. The foil is a swamp. Oh, wow, it's... What a letdown. Um, this card, I, I feel like it should see more play. It's, like, faster, but I like it better. So, yeah. Um... I mean, pretty much you're ahead in the opening fat pack game. Like, I never opened fat packs like this for myself. Like, if you've seen, like, fat packs on my channel, it's not like this at all. Water you Scout. That's why, to me, like, the uh, Angler, I was like, oh, cool, good opening. Humble Defect is worth a few bucks, I feel like. Reality Shift, is that the... No, that's not the rare. Um, okay. It is black, and there is no foil, and there's no fetch land, so it is... Oh, okay, so it's one of the... The red one is, I feel like, the one that you want to get at this moment, because it saw a lot of play. It saw, like, a lot of play. So, um... Yeah, it's pretty good. Mardu... Ugin... Wild Slash is worth playing, that's probably worth, like, a few bucks. 
And we got a black card. And then if it's oh no, it's it's um Oh, this is not bad. This is not bad. This is honestly one of the better sweepers. I know people are saying Languish is very good, but sometimes you gotta remove all those rhinos, right? I know people are saying, oh, it doesn't remove my rhinos, but what if your opponent has rhinos and like he's only one with the rhino and you're gonna play Languish and then they're gonna attack in? Crux of Fate will still be, it's still the best sweeper. It's like the only sweeper. This card is actually very, very good. I did not realize how good it was until the Pro Tour. Channel Harm, Prowler, Break the Line, and do we have a foil? We do have a foil. It is black. What is in this set that's black that we want to see? I don't know. We definitely don't want to see Sage's Eye Avengers. Avengers. Oh, it's... Okay. Muck Draggers. So, it's a Delve card. So, just like Angler, I mean, it might see some play, I guess. I mean, it's interesting because a card like this card might see play because all delve cards are inherently, the more cards are printed, the better delve becomes. Because you, it's like Snapcaster Maze, getting cards in your graveyard only will be easier in time. It's not going to be more difficult to put massive amounts of cards in your graveyard. Hence the banning of Treasure Cruise as well as uh, Dig. And those eternal formats, because those eternal formats have a ton of card selection, and this card is very good. I like it. I play it like hard all the time. Um, Construct, Battle Brawlers could be a deck. War Beast, we have. Oh crap! I was like another another. Okay, Scroll of the Masters, another very common card. Last pack, I feel like. Yeah, we only pulled one card, but when the card is a. <laughs> Mythic Dragon Planeswalker, then that's the only Mythic you need. Um, and then another card with Narset, like that was pretty good. So yeah, that's the other Mythic. Oh, Angler, we'll put Angler. So like to me, like opening a pack and getting Angler is like cool. I'm like, oh nice, Angler. Heal Cutter is very played. I think we, we have another foil. Wow, these packs have a ton of foils. Reality Shift again, not, never a really good sign. We have a foil. No, we don't have a fetch land. Oh, Frostwalker. This is a very beautiful foil, by the way. Um, and Palace. Oh, wow. No Palace Seeds. Okay, so let's highlight this with one card. <laughs> Angler, obviously, was your best card. Uh, Yoshi, I'll get these two out of Singapore as soon as the um, contest for you guys is over. But no, I'm not. I mean, overall, it's not bad because you I mean, what else do you need? This card is only going to go up in price. It's never going to go down. It's seeing play in modern. Um, it's a big bad dragon, Planeswalker, and it's beautiful, honestly. Like, um, yeah. So I'm so glad that, like, once we did th these fat packs, that the pulls were very good. In my opinion, they were very good, like, considering, like, what the fat packs were. And, yeah, we didn't get fetch lands, but we got an Ugin. We got a Narset and a Foil. I'm pretty sure this is warp money. I would look pretty stupid if I kept saying this was warp money. It was like a dollar or fifty for the foil, and then the um, breeding pool is going to be split, or the breeding pool will be randomized to you four people on the top here. Um, so yeah, you guys get the random fat pack, which is the dragon maze. These two people already have their fat packs open. Um, you guys get a playset. Yes, yeah, so you guys get a play set of tokens. Uh, you get the other Persona token set, and everyone else starts from set one. And then Alex, I'll have a finance video for all of you guys later. Bye, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun, uh, and I'm look, I look forward to doing this uh, for a long time. Again, I'm not making money from this, and any money that I would be making. So let's say a lot of people entered, I would just buy multiple fat packs and just open them and give them away randomly. Okay, bye, guys.